Hey everybody, this is Kevin with Restrato Apps, and in this video, I'm going to be going over Gravity Press 2.x and how to set up that, configure it, as well as demonstrating some of the new features that have been added to 2.x. Uh, Gravity Forms 2 is the latest version, it's a big upgrade from 1, and for the most part, the differences are that it adds a, a large number of support for subscriptions. Uh, and the communication for subscription information between Gravity Forms and Member Press. This should give you as an admin more, more power and some more data, some more reporting uh, from, the, from the back end, but also it should give your users uh, and empower them uh, a little more to see more information about their subscriptions as well as be able to cancel their subscription. So. With that in mind, I'm going to jump into some of the details. We're going to go up into Forms, and we're going to go into, uh, I'm going to create a brand new form. This is a, a development site that I'm using, so I can kind of play around here. Let's do Gravity Press Subscription Tutorial. Create a new form here. And I'm just going to drag over some of the basics of what we would need to register a new user to our site and also add them to a membership level of member press. Um, so let's do this. We're gonna we just need to name an email. We also need a product <coughs> as core. And optionally you can put the total in here. We don't need to, but we also probably need either Stripe or PayPal. On this form, and I'm going to use pay. Uh, sorry, I'm going to use Stripe just to make it easy. But the same idea for PayPal will uh, just kind of follow the same same route. And there's some other tutorial videos uh, on Gravity Press on our knowledge base that you can check out to to see the PayPal side of things. Okay, so we've created the form now. Let's create a Stripe feed. Very important. A lot of people will um, will wonder why things don't work after. Uh, setting up their form and a lot of times they forget to set up a feed. So um, we're setting this to subscription. We're also going to be using the form total. Now you could choose the product name field. Um, and I don't like that name. I may go and change that. But I'm going to say form total and we're going to say one month. So we're recurring bill every month. Everything else is kind of standard. We'll just leave that as is. And again I'm going to go and change the name of this field from product name, and also I'm going to change one other thing with it, very important. Right now it's set up as a single product, but for Gravity Press it's preferable to have either a drop down or a radio button. And once that's been set up, now in Member Press, and this is similar to other videos, we already have levels set up, but just to note, unlike the previous versions of Member Press with subscription that we recommended setting all levels to lifetime, We've actually now changed this over in version 2.x. Uh, instead of recommending the lifetime, which was, it was before, like this, we are switching these over to recurring, and then you just make sure that you are matching your monthly interval or yearly interval, whatever the interval is, with the Stripe form. So um, basically that would mean going into um, your Gravity Forms Stripe feed or PayPal feed, and making sure that the um, billing cycle of month, or if it's going to be week, whatever, matches the membership in Member Press. So month here, again, if it were weekly, I'd choose weekly, and then I'd, I'd also make sure I'm choosing weekly here. So just note that these need to match. That's not going to do it automatically for you. You need to make sure that you're setting your level up in Member Press correctly, and setting up your Stripe feed or PayPal feed um, to match that correctly, so that this will create a monthly. Um, a subscription in Stripe is what this is doing. Okay, so we've got that down. As you can see, I've got my um, bronze and um, I believe gold levels here in Member Press. Name them whatever you want. And then I'm going to actually rename this field. This is the field that's going to, to help Gravity Press, our plugin, know which levels to add the customer to. So I'm going to say choose level and then the nice thing is I can just basically forget about whatever's here and if I've already set up my member press levels I can go all the way down here click that and then just click insert choices and that will overwrite everything so you can see it brought in my member press levels very nicely um, I'm going to give them the price I'm going to say $10 and $20 Oops. 
ten dollars a month. So ten dollars a month, twenty dollars a month. We should be good to go now. This form should be ready um, for taking payments now. The one thing it doesn't do though is that it would not be able to take um, would not really help a non-existing WordPress user at this point because guess what? Uh, if you put this form on on your website and that person, the customer is not already a user of your website, uh, they'll be able to pay for a level, but they won't be able to um, be added to MemberPress because they don't have a user account. So we have to fix that, right? That's where this comes in. This is a Gravity Forms user registration add-on. Make sure that you have this, and if you have the medium plan I believe of Gravity Forms or I'm not sure if it's the, the lead or whatever it is but make sure you have the user registration add-on. Uh, again this is something that Gravity Forms makes. So we're going to go in here, we're going to create a new user and most of these like I just for simplicity's sake you could give them a new field if you want but I'm just going to use email just to be say, uh, just to be simple. Nickname, uh, let's just do first and let's just do email again right. I'll just do full name as the as a nickname. Uh, important to choose a role. I'm going to choose customer, or what you can choose subscriber, whatever you want there. And that is it. Feeds uh, updated successfully. That's what we need. So now we're ready to roll. This means that we have a form that can take um, both a customer, take their information, and also register them as a new user on the site. Now it's time to actually set up the Gravity Press feed. Very important final step to setting up our form. And this, without this feed, no one, uh, no new customer will actually be added to Member Press. This is the this is the essential bridge between there. Now a lot of people wonder. Uh, I have on this side all you know one through ten of these Member Press fields. Which one do I choose, and why are there so many? What do I do with this? For most of you, you're probably going to use number one. But the, the key here is that you have to make sure that for every feed you have a different field being used. And so it doesn't matter if this is the first time you're setting this up, it's likely going to be one. But let's say you have a different form where you're setting this up and you have, like I do, uh, a feed called number two. You just want to make sure that this number here matches the number here. Uh, if, you, <laughs> if you're using more than ten, then you can use a custom key down here, but most people will never get to that level. Um, this is the rule of thumb, two equals two. Now let's say this is your first time setting it up and you have just a, a no one, it's just basically um, a feed with no number after it, then you can just set this to one. So uh, for, for the first time, set it to one, and then any numbers afterwards, make sure that these match. Rule of thumb there. So in my case, it's going to be two. I'm going to set that up. On the right side is much more important. This is the field in our form that we designated as the member press uh, level choice form. Uh, sorry, level choice field. So here we have uh, a field that I created called choose level, as you remember. And um, we brought in our member press information here, member press level information. These are the member press level IDs and the price. All I'm going to do over here, I'm sorry, is, is make sure that um, I'm choosing the same field for that so that our plugin knows where to find that member press level information. This is a new feature of Gravity Press 2.x and it basically ensures that for existing users on your site, this wouldn't really apply to new users that you're registering, but for existing users, um, do you want our plugin to first check to see if that user has already enrolled on in that level or are they already a part of that level, uh, that member press level? And if they are already a, uh, a member of that level, this will give them an error basically when they're signed up. So it prevents people from accidentally choosing bronze again. Uh, they'll have to choose gold next time or silver. Uh, if you don't want that and you want them to be able to, to enroll multiple times for the same level, um, maybe you have an, an interest in that, then you can disable this. But we'll just leave that by default as enabled. One very important aspect of making sure that everything works with Stripe or PayPal is making sure that we set up the feeds. And so right now I'm focusing on Stripe, but before we get into Stripe, I want to discuss the settings of Stripe and Gravity Press. I'm sorry, Gravity Forms, and make sure that um, you're setting everything up correctly. So if we go into settings in Gravity Forms and then Stripe, ensuring that we have the Stripe add-on set up. 
please make sure that um, at least, you know, if you're going to be taking real payments, you're going to have to set up the live one. So you're going to want to make sure that these live keys are there. You can find out information on how to set this up at Gravity Form Support. Um, so, of course, you're going to want to have your APIs correctly, I'm sorry, your, your keys set up correctly in here. But what I want to also point to is with Gravity Press, our plugin, it requires that this Stripe webhooks is correctly set up. Now, you can usually take payments um, with just these set up for a lot of cases, but feedback from Stripe acknowledging that a payment was successful, acknowledging that a subscription was successful, is crucial for making sure that Gravity Press operates correctly. So I'm going to make sure I'm going to ask you to make sure that this value is set up as well. Let's just look at how you do this for the test version. And of course, you're going to want to make sure that if you actually have a live site, that all three of these fields are also filled in. But in terms of just um, making sure that we have the test signing secret as well as a live, here I am in Stripe, the dashboard. I'm going to go into the developer area. Of course. The API keys is where I get these values from. You should know that already if you're setting up Gravity Form Stripe in general. But again, the webhooks is very important. You're going to want to make sure that you are following the instructions here, which grabs this URL. Create a new one up here, add an endpoint basically. And um, after you've added that endpoint, you're going to want to make sure you go into it and get that signing secret. This will make sure that Stripe sends back information to your site and then once you have that you can plug it in here and update that again very important to make sure that gravity press is successfully acknowledging both the initial setup of a subscription in uh, in stripe and paypal but also in um, in terms of future transactions uh, you want to make sure that that every time a successful transaction happens in stripe for that subscription gravity press is made aware of that and this and this this aspect is very important. All right, and then let's get to the actual Stripe feed in our form. We're going to go into our form. We're going to go down to Stripe here. We're going to set up a new one. I've already set up this one. I'll just walk you through it. Um, whatever you name this feed is probably likely going to be the name of the product or the name of the subscription in Stripe. So um, that's one little clue is uh, name this well. Uh, it, it will affect what it looks like in your Stripe dashboard. Um, we're going to set this not to products and services, but to subscription. So keep that there. Form total, um, you can choose to use the field or the form total. I'm choosing this, but you can always go the other way if you, if you want, um, if you have a particular reason to. And then you're going to want to make sure that the month here matches your member press level. So if we go and just make sure that Here's our level here in member press. Um, we have a term of a month. And so if we're, if we're actually choosing here um, to do recurring and to set that interval monthly, we want to make sure that that's being matched here in our Stripe feed as well. Uh, if it's weeks, then we would make sure that both of them match for weeks, right? Uh, this is not done for you. You have to make sure that these are set up and configured correctly and, and are configured the, sa the same basically between the two plugins. Uh, email is uh, set up, everything else is set up. I think you may need to make sure, yeah, you can choose some of the different options here. I'm just going to leave them default for now. So our Stripe feed is set up and we have our Stripe settings correctly set up. So those are ready to go. Okay, so we have this set up successfully. But we first have to add this to like a page. Let's go in and just let's make a new page. And we'll call this Gravity Press Subscription. And let's just add this form to it. There it is. Great, so we have a new page. Now let's open this in an incognito window. And the reason I'm saying this is so that you make sure um, that you're not logged in. A lot of people will go through this process, set everything up right, and then using their admin WordPress admin account, they'll try to, you know, go through this form and wonder why it's not working. Well, you're logged in, that's why. So make sure you're logged out first because that's how a real customer would be. They wouldn't be logged into your site because they don't have an account yet. So we're going to call this uh, John Doe as your customer. Make them a fake email here. Unless this is imagining that they're um, going to be registering for the $10 a month plan. 
and this is where they'll be entering their credit card information. Now, if you haven't already, you have to make sure that you've set up your Stripe, Gravity Form Stripe add-on correctly and, and set up all the um, Stripe feeds and all that API stuff. So I'm assuming you've done that already. So let's just do eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the famous fake credit card number that you can use for testing. Do whatever you want for the expiration and the security code and then just a fake name for that. So now we're ready to um, create a new user here. We're, we're registering for the bronze level. This is a member press level. This is also a Stripe subscription, so it's going to be billed monthly, right? And when I press submit here, what should happen is a new user gets created and a new entry in Gravity Forms gets created where the subscription will be hosted but that information will be relayed to MemberPress, and I'll show you what that looks like. That this user will also be enrolled and um, allowed access to the pages associated with the MemberPress level of Bronze. So I'm going to click Submit here, and we're we'll go there. So let's take a look at this in MemberPress in the next video.